right. The purpose of this video is to help you determine the configuration of a Dixie Narco soda vending machine. Uh, Dixie Narco has made high quality machines for many years and they've uh, changed the control boards throughout and a lot of times at Capital Vending we get calls on the phone and uh, people don't know which board they have and then it's just kind of important so that if you view this video and you can identify your board you just call us up and identify it by the letter then we're going to be able to help you. On very early model Dixie Narco machines, the first type they would have just a simple coin changer. Um, these coin changers, uh, uh, basically everything in the machine would sell for a single price. Uh, the price is set on the coin changer. Um, we do have a separate video that explains how to set the price. So if that's why you're watching the video, uh, you're, you, know, you don't need to watch too much more. You could go to our other video of um, just setting the prices. When you call us, it's helpful for you to remove the coin changer and uh, on the side of the coin changer, you're going to have a model. So for here, this would be Mars Electronics TRC6800H. Um, we need this model. It's very important. On some Dixie Narco machines, they would have this same plug, and it could actually be capable of selling products for four different prices. So if you call and you know that the machine you're working on has sold items for four different prices, please let share that information with us. Um, a majority of all machines are going to have changers they're going to look similar with a plug like this, but there's, you know, probably 20 different types of single price changers, but hopefully this will identify it. Um, this next is a long board right here. We call this board B. There's a couple different variations with fuses here. Um, if you're identifying your machine, um, this particular board was capable of using a single price changer and a dumb Mac. Um, we also make a kit if you need to know that this can be updated to a multi-drop bus uh, interface. The third board here identified is board C. Um, this is a you know, early version electronic board. Um, and, it, and if you are calling, just as, as a point of reference, this board, we have a wiring harness to convert this to the MDB interface. This board also has a DEX interface. So if you're updating your machines to a telemetry, um, this board with the current version of software will work for you. Okay, now moving on, we have boards D and E. To, uh, you want to be careful with these. Uh, they look very close in appearance. Um, this is the more popular board, and just when you're looking at your board, what you would look for is two black connectors here. Um, this board, we're calling board E to identify it, actually has three black connectors. So pay attention to the uh, position of these connectors. Also, the mode button on this older board is right here, whereas on this one it's right here with a red LED. So identifying is D and E. Um, this D board here does have resident decks, and we also offer a harness to convert this to the MDB interface if that's the reason for your call. Um, this board, identifying it here, this board F, this is from a much older uh, control board. I guess these were called flex packs. They didn't make these very long. Um, we don't repair these boards. Um, we still would have a couple in stock that would be available as exchange, but this was not a, uh, um, you know, this, this machine was not in production well, uh, very long. So uh, now we'll move on to the next set of boards. Okay, these next set of boards, uh, G and H, look very similar. Um, we still are repairing these. We actually offer our kits to update them because these, these are very, very old boards. Um, this board G, if you look up here, there will not be a connector populated and you would have a, an MD, a, a dumb mech only with this control board. Um, on this board here, it has this six position connector here that your changer and validator uh, plug into. Um, this newer board, uh, board I, is, is very popular and it's, um, you know, with our kit it's actually possible to replace G and H and install board I, which is a much more reliable board. So uh, that's, that's offered as a kit to replace these older ones, and we advise that. Um, you know, we probably won't be able to re repair uh, G and H, or we won't be repairing those very much longer, as it's possible to update to the, the new board I. Okay, our next set of boards, we have J. This is a, uh, would have a little blue mode button here. This was for the early BevMax. We have K and L, and L is current production, and just when you're identifying the boards, pay attention to the connectors right here. 
on, on this board on the right side we have three individual white connectors then behind them a black black and a white and the way I tell the difference is when they come over here to board L I have a the, on the edge right here there's two black connectors a white and then three white connectors in a row so the newer the, the current production like this model right here has the black connectors on the side um, in the event that you have board J or K we actually offer a kit and, and board L would be a newer replacement we also offer a video that shows how to install newer board L do all the programming and uh, configure a configure your BevMax for uh, proper vending. Okay, our final board is this is board M, and uh, that would not be a real common board to find. There's actually two different versions of this. That's what we call board M. Um, the final board here, I uh, don't have a letter with it. This was actually not a product made by Dixie Narco. Um, on the older single price machines that we refer to with uh, as, as model style A, it was possible to uh, install a control board. Um, if these control boards, if you have something like a small board like this, um, in order for us to identify the board, if you could just pay attention to this, the, what I would call the microchip here, and then on it it'll have certain writing. Um, the model of this board is VC-CDMP. So this was a, a multi-price control board. It was not made by Dixie Narco, but the company that made these um, you know, allowed you to update the single price to multi-price. And again, there's four or five variations of this, depending on uh, how the cabinet was configured. And you know, so if you have one of these small rectangular boards, um, you know, that looks this shape, would have a yellow mode button up here. I'm also distinctive that all the triacs are upright. Um, that just tell us the number on the chip, and we'll be able to help you.